We get set to bring you all the action. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Greg Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Alder. It's the Chicago Bowl. We're taking on the Seattle Super Suns. Tip-off goes to Seattle. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. A starting five on the floor. So for Chicago right now, Hodges is out there with Michael Jordan, then there's Caspi, then there's Charles Oakley, and it's Lister in at the five. Here's Jordan. Basket counts. Jordan's got the first points on the scoreboard for the bowl. And, and where's the help? Obviously, this rotation. Something you're going to want to catch up. Well, you have to be able to trust each other on the What's defensive that? end of the floor. Otherwise, the whole thing is just going to crumble. The Supersonics shooting their first free throw of the evening. And no good on the technical, so unable to pick that one up. Baby kicks to Hawkins. Now the pass to Kim. Got a piece of it. Jordan against Peyton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Chicago shooting their first free throws of the game. Free throw good, Jordan. And so Jordan nails both of them. Kevin, these are easy points. Remember, free throw. Hawkins kicks the pain. Here's the floor. Boy, Gary beat me out with a heck of a move. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the two. Hodges the pass to Jordan. He's on target from eight feet out. Jordan's got six. Nice way to start the evening. His numbers getting called and for good reason. Uh, this is also one of those things where you start to think about how you're going to change your defense already, if at all possible. Make someone else beat you. Hodges against me. They set the pick. They run the clock. They get a hand on it and stolen by Jordan. swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Here's Peyton after the Bulls pick up two. The seven-footer Lister is there for the rebound. To the middle. The time for the ball. Back to Oakley. Kemp with the steal. Miller right side. Loose. And they're moving it up. Hodges the pass to Lister. Down low, Kim. And it's blocked. And they get it back. Here's the screen. And he pulls off the knee to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley -oop. Here's Kuspi. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And Seattle gets called for the foul. The Bulls have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Perkins is checked in for Seattle. And both free throws good for Caspi. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. A trail by six. McMillan kicks to Payton. And he banks in the lane. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire today. Jordan against Payton. Shot from 12. Here's Mister. And the Lions come off the glass. And right in the teeth of the defense, making a statement early in this one. Pinpointing the rim protection on that attack, and no one makes enough of an effort there to stop it. And Gary Payton again. Payton's got six points. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. And they go up, Jordan. Here is Caspi, covered by Perkins. And he jams it with authority. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way 
to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending him. You're right. When you're playing from behind, you cannot let your opponent have things that are that easy. And that was easy. And here are the balls now. Four-point game. Short. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. It's pretty simple. I figured it out. He can't miss. I think he's going to lead with these and capitalizing on every opportunity. He, he can't miss. He's up the pick. Here's Perkins. And it's really here in the first half to see them go a little more aggressive on the offensive line. Yeah, there is again on a lot of their possessions this first half. They've established great inside position. For Seattle, they have started out 0-1 from the line, which is their only other attempt early. Here's McMillan. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got three assists in the game. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. The Bulls have been all four of their chances so far in this one. That free throw, no good. The Supersonics making a switch here. Snow is checked in. The Sonics trailer. Austin McMillan. Feeds it to Kim. 11 feet away. Rebound by the Bulls. And right now, I, I think just his demeanor is hurting the team. His shooting's been off. He knows the Bitch. Slammed up by Jordan. I mean, Bitch. he's tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Here's Snow. And stolen by Jordan. One thirty three left in the first quarter. And I just gets to Jordan. Has to open. Got a piece of it. Here's Peyton. Lays it up off the glass. Peyton's got eight. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 four, four to start? Darius Cassidy is guarded by McMillan, kept alive, finish off by Lister. And you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position over the hoop right to right once he gets his hands on the miss. They swipe it. Darius Cassidy, he's covered by McMillan. Now cast Oakley. Oh, somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Oakley's got his first bucket of the way. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Payton. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. The Bulls leading by six. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Screen by Oakley. There's the screen, yeah. and Chicago with another bucket. Oh, man, Dang. off to a terrific start, yet to miss with six main buckets. And that's out of bounds, Seattle will retain possession. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Kemp, that's it, coming off an assist from Payton. Kemp's got his second bucket of the game to go. Man, it's just been an avalanche of plays here in the early going. Yeah, for both teams, we're seeing great synergy on offense, but some lackluster defense. Bulls have shot five of six of the foul line tonight. The first free throw is good. And so it's the Chicago Bulls in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots, a lot of good shots. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And the first quarter is in the books, second about ready to get underway. And taking a look at Chicago's performance. Taking a look at the Bulls. We've got Mahorn. Jordan is out there with Johnson. Then it's Wallace. 
and it's Kispi in at the four. Looked like he wanted no part of that superb defense there, really making it tough on him. Loose and taken away by Jackson. There's the basket and making a double digit lead. And nicely done, running the floor well, then attacking the rim. Uh, the exclamation point in transition with the high percentage finish. The feed to Kim over Caspi. Here's Johnson, passes it to Snow. Johnson with a screen on Johnson. Here's Snow. Tip away. Fast break, here comes Chicago. Done by Jordan. Hey guys, got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. So terrific anticipation using the hands. How are you not protecting the basketball in that situation? And Steven right with it gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. Seattle shooting that third free throw attempt of the game. The Bulls leading by nine. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. And that's 21 points for Michael Jordan. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. This is to count. It's Jordan on the wing. He's covered by Hawkins. Jordan, the pass to Caspi. Back to Jordan. And hit that one. Good D by Miller. Well, the D did their job there. Excellent contest to alter the close range. And the first time out of the game, goal for Seattle. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Yeah, I know the defense has five guys, but collectively they're no match for this guy. He is roasting. Here is Hawkins. Snow the pass to Hawkins. Hands on the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched the left. Playing with lots of energy here, trying to cause turnovers. Yeah, even though he doesn't come up with the steal, that kind of deflection will disrupt the rhythm of this offensive possession. It's out of bounds. Seattle will retain possession. The screen for Kemp. Here's Hawkins. Misses the three. The ball is leading by 11. The drive by Jordan. Yes, that goes in. Jordan's got six in the quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Ball is not loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Pockets, pockets, whoa! Six on the shot clock. Kicks to Kemp over Caspi, and with that, the Chicago lead has been down now to just 11 on the bucket from Kemp. Well, not a mismatch until you exploit it. That's exactly what he did there from the mid-range. To the middle, here's Hawkins. Great D that time from Jordan. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points with the D. Just enough to keep him out of range. Teams, they don't always look as emotionally charged nowadays. Is there a way you think to get that back? Well, the first thing I do, Kevin, is not try to manufacture anything. The second thing I would avoid is please don't bring up the Lakers Celtics rivalries in the 80s. And the last thing I would make you conscious of is the fact that look, players are moving around so often that it's hard to get years and years of the same matchup with the same guys on the roster. Now look, accept the competition for what it is. And if we get another one where teams are facing one another more often, then let's enjoy it for what it is. Hawkins kicks the count. Good. Score the basket. Marking four for eight. Shooting 50% so far. And yeah, they keep hammering away at him inside, ah! forcing the ball into the paint. Whoa. That'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. The screen from Kemp. And stolen by Oakley. There's the pass to Lister. Tries again, and it's good on the way. Lister's got six. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Johnson the screen. Here's Hawkins. Terrific design on the fifth foot. He plays it in. 
and giving up some height. He just finds a way to carve out a little separation. This is sort of the joust of the NBA where the aggressive player more often than not wins out. And, and when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, top man is going out, for out. the jump. Seattle calls timeout. And Bart. one thing they'll discuss are the defensive rotations, and the other is in the matchup. See, and very little help defense on the inside, and even when there is help, it's been ineffective. A different look for Seattle. Hunters checked in for Johnson. Perkins comes in for Kemp. And it's Peyton in for Snow. Hawkins, the jumper, buried by the Hawk, Percy Hawkins. And he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Jordan, and he lays it straight in. Jordan's got 27 points. He just exudes a love of the game. Now, you can see that everything he does, this guy lives and breathes the game. Peyton kicks to Hawkins. Back to Peyton. And there's the foul. It's on C.J. Watson. That's his first five. And it's Seattle with the ball. They trail by 14. Screen by Perkins. Hawkins kicks to Perkins. And out of bounds in Chicago gains possession. And here are the Bulls now. Watson gets to Caspi. Here's Oakley. It's deflected. 50 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Pass to Hawkins. No good on the three. And that's a rare sight. Usually shooters make the defense pay when they're that lackadaisical. It's taken away by Pete. Uncovered. Hawkins shot good. Hawkins has got 10. You know, he has single-handedly helped them carve into this lead thanks to his scoring in the court. And they double up Jordan from 18 feet away. No good from Kessler. They can't afford to let guys get comfortable there. The defense somehow avoided that shot from going in. And they can't afford to be that careless. They need him out there on the floor. So he has to avoid fouling again in this period. Seattle shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And so Hawkins drills both of them. Peyton against Jordan. Pass to Lister. Back to Jordan. Over Pete. Here's Lester. Here's Jordan. And no good at trying to get that one. And so it's the Chicago Bulls going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Back to the action after this word. Halftime show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet. Chicago was looking great right away. They had the upper hand early, defense and offense clicking, opening up an 8-2 run after the tip. After one, they held an 8-point advantage. In the second quarter, they faced a much tougher challenge, but they intensified their efforts and pulled further ahead, finishing 10 points up at the half. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bulls? I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Gotta be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket, just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumping, no threes. They're being a more aggressive team, a more physical team. And the third quarter about ready to get underway. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Yeah, and through two quarters, he's been lights out. And you know he's going to look to add to those totals. And... Game for Seattle, they picked up the W against the Raptors. Percy Hawkins is out there with Peyton. Then it's Kim. Then it's Miller. And it's Hunter in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the lineup in the game for Seattle. And they double up Jordan to the paint. Five on the clock. And stolen by Miller. Here's Hawkins. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Hawkins has got the opening bucket to start the second hand for the Sox. Outside Jordan. Come get it, come get it. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Lister. Eight points for him. Jordan, the vast Lister. Charles Oakley out there with the slam. And a few more points 
tacked on to their lead in, in the cruelest way possible. You're right. You, those putback jams steam, don't they, my boys? And that is a statement. We're going to keep coming at you hard, even if we've got the lead. I'm Frank Kemp. Oh. Rebound by Lister. Lister's got his three rebounds of the night. Right around a minute and a half, play it here in the third quarter. It's taken away by Taylor. Tipped away. Passes it to Hawkins. Good on the triple. Hawkins has got 17. And when the D is this non-existent, it's pretty easy for shooters. Fishing with dynamite. Jordan can't get it to go. Peyton against Hodgkins. Here's Hawkins. Rebound by the Bulls. Oakley's got his throw on tonight. And stolen by Peyton. And the pass to Hawkins. Back to Peyton. Tipped away. Peyton against Jordan, to the middle. Shoots the three, scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. Now they're getting a lot of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Shots good by Oakley. Just a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass, and that's one of the things he brings to the table. Here's Hunter. And yes, it's good. Hunter's got his second bucket of the night. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint. And this is a grinded out game. And they look up to him. Pass to Hodges. The dish to Jordan. No good from outside. Sonic's trail by four. Pass to Hawkins. Here's Peyton. A piece of it. Tries it from the top of the key. And it's Lister missing. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Hawkins shot good. Yeah, this looks like a pregame showdown with all the threes that they're allowed. Short. Good on the short little jump shot. Jordan's got 29 in the game. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Makes up the pick. Hunter kicks the count. Kemp's got 11 points. A defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. Shots good by Oakley. Now uh, he's having a night right now. Credit to the shooting touch, helping his team with the lead. Peyton kicks to Kemp. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top, but instead he'll shoot three throws. He gets right to the rim, but the defense there to deter it. The Supersonics shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Perkins, he's checked in for Hunter. So, Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Horn checked in for Lister. Wallace comes in for Caspi. Johnson, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. And it's Watson in for Hodgkins. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Here's Watson. And he uses the glass on the way up. Now it's a five-point Chicago lead. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. They guys shot a lot because right now that offense is a smooth operator. Jerry, Johnson made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Johnson, he's checked in for Seattle. McMillan comes in for Hersey Hawkins. The Bulls also changing it up. Lister comes in for the horn. And Michael Jordan subbed in for Johnson. And, and he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Peyton dishes to Miller. Six on the shot clock. Here's the two drop. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter's face and then close and corral that backboard. And even without that three-ball drive in the corner, the defense should have done more on that last play. Chicago leading by five. Pass to Lister. 46 seconds left to play here in the third. Oh, taking it to the rack. 
with power hammering down the two hand slam. Jordan against the goal. He kicks to the goal. Over Watson. Seattle missing again. And so here in Chicago. Spiked it away. That's a four to go. That's out of bounds. Seattle will retain possession. Fifteen seconds left in the third. Ball's not loose. McMillan passes to Miller. Here's Peyton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Peyton's got four this quarter. That was just a perfect possession. Getting in there tight for the high percentage shot. And a great show through three quarters. As we enter the fourth, who will carry the day? It's the Bulls of five. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back in this short break. We welcome you back to our show. Good luck here as we get into the fourth quarter. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. You got Wallace. Watson out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Lister, and it's Oakley at the power forward position. Yeah, guys, all about hard work from this point on. And they work hard to create a high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Come on, come on. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Here's Jordan. And yes, it's good. Jordan's got 31. Defensively, uh, this is what you know. He's coming up on our game and looking to hit him. You can try to key in on him, but that's tough. They run plays that routinely give him makeable looks. Six to shoot. They They've made every free throw here in the second half. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. They didn't get there once in the first. Here's Jordan. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Seattle gets called for the foul. And the first one at the line is good. Bones making a switch here. I just checked in. And so Jordan nails both of them. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. To the inside. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Peyton. Some turnovers necessary. That one, not so much. Chicago leading by six. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Seattle. He's off on the second. Miller against Holmes. He feeds his own. Rocket six on the wing. Seattle missing again. Perkins on the floor so far. Here's Jordan. The shot will not fall. Great D that time for me. Miller, the pass to the Miller. Being outside. Perkins with a screen on Hodges. Peyton drives in, and Jordan sends it back. Miller grabs the miss. Sonic's trail on a seven. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Oakley kicks to Jordan. Oh, it's Jordan with the jam. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. Well, terrific anticipation using the hands. How are you not protecting the basketball in that situation? And stolen by Oakley. McMillan against Jordan. Here's Lister. Misses off the right iron. Inside, McMillan, and 
he gets it to go. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, he's also crafty with how he approaches it right there. He uses just the right move to lay it in. And they double up Jordan. Here's Wallace. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Peyton outside. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. And as much offense as we saw earlier, I mean, we're seeing even more of it here now. What is this, February? Feels like an all-star game has broken out. Neither side willing or able to stop the other. Hunter to pass to Miller to the inside. Jordan inside, covered by Peyton. Was shot by Jordan, no good. Pass to McMillan. Let's it go with a three. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And they double up Jordan. Here's Hodges. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Textbook, nice pass, great catch. Even better finish. McMillan kicks to McMillan. Looking for Peyton, he gets it down. Looks good. It is good. Time out, time out. his seventh basket in 12 tries. Tough to fault him for the struggles of the team so far. He has been solid. It's the rest of the guys that need to come along for the ride. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan. Hey guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. And with the playoffs on the horizon, He'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. And Hawkins subbed in for McMillan. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Great. He's checked in for Lister. Kesky comes in for Charles Oakley. Mark Johnson, he's checked in for Jordan. And walks it in for Hodges. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Before I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with the team, he still wants them to be aggressive and assertive on offense. He said, I don't want us to get too tapped with this lead. Build on it. Don't give them any chance of getting back in this thing. Kevin? Thanks, David. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Horn checked in for Green. Oakley comes in for Caspi. And Hodges subbed in for CJ. Oh, oh, wow. I mean, just beautiful. And there's some entertainment value in the windmill. Oh, a rim shaker and a wrist breaker. And the replay of prison, of course. Under on Unleash Chaos. Great stop and some great basketball going on. He's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And taken away by Wallace. The three from Johnson. Oakley kicks to Johnson. Out of bounds. Seattle will take possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Horn checked in for the ball. Peyton is just a count. Kemp. Basket made. 
that gives him seven field goals and 13 tries. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Johnson gets the bucket. That is how you score on a bigger defender. Instead of fading away, go right at the bottom. 